in your sight and shout. So if you ever notice why I'm praying, that's the cry. You should join me while I'm praying for the holy Mount Zion. Cause I wanna put my people for the trials and the pressure we endure. But it's joy when we dwell with the highest. family word to the wise Wednesday pray that uh, everyone is doing well sound mind take much of your time I'm gonna get straight to the point here uh, today I was thinking and um, I know I'm a, <clears throat> a little late uploading and, and I couldn't do a live because uh, I'm trying to as you see on the screen right here this is going to be um, the thumbnail if you will or uh, the picture for word to the wise this is episode or I should say just number six right number six and uh, I titled this so in your youth and I thought in my mind the scripture tells us in the book of uh, Sirach that uh, chapter 25 that if you haven't sold in your youth or haven't labored in your youth how can you expect to uh, as you get older to accumulate anything and so I wanted to take this time with you to share these scriptures and really stir up in your mind to help you to uh, gravitate to, uh, you know, empowering yourself and obtaining to wise counsel, as it tells us in the book of Proverbs one and five. A wise man, a wise man shall hear and shall obtain to wise counsel. So, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get right into it. We know that um, it's a serious time in the world, uh, brothers and sisters. The Bible tells us in the book of Ecclesiastes that. A wise man discerns time and judgment. And so it behooves all of us to really lay to heart what we're seeing. That the most high is the most high is uh relaying something to uh humanity. And uh, you know, my heart's my heart's desire is truly to uh, like my forefather Abraham, see people come to serve the living power and to, 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 to be hedged about with his protection and blessed with his wisdom that he bestows upon us. So without further ado, I'm going to get right into it, starting with the book of Sirach. I'm going to share it on your screen here. Chapter 25, verses 1 through through 11. Okay, let me share this with you. Most high, bless your word. Bless those who come to uh, <clears throat> to be enlightened and empowered and equipped with every tool and resource necessary that we only can find in your sovereign word. 
I'm sharing my screen with you now. Stop this one and go right over to here then. It's being difficult. My soul takes pleasure in three things and they are beautiful in the sight of the Most High and of men. Agreement between brothers, friendship between neighbors, and a wife and a husband who live in harmony. Two, my soul hates three kinds of men, and I am greatly offended at their life. A beggar who is proud, a rich man who is a liar, and an adulterous old man who lacks good sense. Three, here is the kicker. You have gathered nothing in your youth. How then can you find anything in your old age? And I thought about this, in particular, that particular scripture. And I said, this is what I want to share. This is the wisdom that I'm praying that installments like Word to the Wise would be able to uh, enrich those who are coming to hear. I don't want to just be wasting time and talking about nothing. I want to get something that I know for certain that... If you listen, take heed, and you search after and do your due diligence, I know the Most High will enrich your life and deeply bless you because he's done, he's done it and he's doing it for me. And uh, I've been up laboring for the last over 24 hours. I literally had maybe, maybe a few hours of rest and had to get up take my kids to school and get right back on it because there's things I really feel that the Most High has given me this this boost and this power meaning strength in the season of strengthening to move forward and there's a lot going going on behind the scenes I'm one man and I could only imagine that when we as Israel or as the chosen elect come together under the under the under the blessings and favor of the most high the things that we are going to accomplish and achieve okay so i thought about this because there's a lot that is uh oh salakia there's a lot that uh a lot that goes on that i've labored since in my youth and some of those things that i've labored to do uh brothers and sisters is now as I'm older, I can see they're doing a lot of different stuff. I talked about us embettering ourselves. So don't don't waste any time. Don't let a day go by without you putting your hand to the plow to empower and enrich yourself with knowledge, with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And so the wise will hear it. So if one has not gathered nothing in your youth, and haven't laid those principles and learned valuable life lessons, how then can you find anything in your old age? Is what they would be what they would call, and no pun intended. Like some people are just old and foolish, silly, right? Unwise, and. Uh, that's that that's concerning because those will be the people in time to come to really be uh you know be in a bad in a bad position because they didn't take heed and do anything while they were young okay to learn to 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 apply their mind to wisdom 
Listen, verse 5. Verse 4, excuse me. What an attractive thing is judgment in gray-haired men, and for the aged to possess good counsel. How attractive is wisdom in the aged and understanding and counsel in honorable men? 6. Rich experience is the crown of the age, and their boast is the fear of the Most High. With nine thoughts I have glad in my heart, and a tenth I shall tell with my tongue. A man rejoicing in his children, a man who lives to see the downfall of his foes. Eight, happy is he, <clears throat> excuse me, is he who lives with an intelligent wife, and he who has not made a slip with his tongue, and he who has not served a man inferior to himself. Nine, happy is he who has gained good sense. He's gained good sense. And he who speaks to attentive listeners. That means those who are listening, as I put on the thumbnails, you see. Are you listening? Ten. How great is he who has gained wisdom? Glory. But there is no one superior to him who fears the most high. Now, I'm going over to the next one, uh, Sirach 55, right? I mean, 51, excuse me, 51. And Can I get there yet? 13. Matter of fact, yeah, 13. Do I want to go from 13? Yes. Yeah, 13 to 30. While I was still young, speaking to the young again, and this is someone who has matured looking back on their lives because when you look back on your life and you're able to draw, that's also strength, being able to uh, have life experiences and doesn't mean everything's going to be uh, just go your way and, you know, that you're just going to float through life and, you know, easy go lucky and have everything just fall in your lap. No, the trying times, there's times of, of uh, you know, adversity and hardship and what you would call an uphill battle and then there's times where you get a grasp of what it is that you are, are pursuing and you begin to get some momentum you begin to actually uh, begin to uh, acquire experience and the, the with all having the aptitude to know how to apply yourself and become astute and then you begin to gain some uh, success and knowledge. And it's very rewarding. And with that knowledge, prayfully you're using that knowledge to embedder the world and better your environment and better uh, those in your life and in, in your lives, those in your household. And you begin to make wise choices. And it says in uh, Sirach 51 verses 13, I'm going to read at a moderate pace. While I was still young before I went on my travels, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer. Before the temple, I ask for her and I will search for her to the last 15. From blossom to ripening grape, my heart delighted in her. My foot entered upon the straight path. From my youth, I followed her steps. 16. I inclined my ear a little and received her, and I found for myself much instruction. So one can become wise, but one has to discipline themselves in a, 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 a matter of keeping the commandments is you can do it, I can do it, if you're willing to be disciplined by the Most High. 
and willing to apply and willing to put in the time in the world that we live in too many times people just want the spontaneous instantaneous instantaneous gratification success without without putting in the work and and what you would call how would they say it you know you don't got the stripes yet you know what i'm saying you haven't put that work in to go the distance So, anything worthwhile is really not going to come overnight. It won't last that way. It doesn't, have a, it doesn't have a solid foundation. 17. I made progress therein. See, as I was talking about once, you begin to get your footing and, you know, you, you, some people have certain businesses and certain things in life that they have... Uh, pursued and some things they found that this is not a good thing to pursue and uh, it was a good thing and rightfully so that they put those things off and and maybe picked up something that was more beneficial something that was more positive something that was uh, uh, less if you will uh, 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 risky meaning that when, I, when I'm saying risky like you know it's no, it's no, it's no reward without risk. But I'm saying you don't want to risk your salvation, right? So when I'm saying less, less risky, you don't want to be trying to go out into the world and 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 and, and make, you know, make a name for yourself and make a life for yourself to lose the life that that is uh, promised to you in Yeshia. Okay. You don't want to do that. I know I don't. So again, I made progress therein, it says in verses uh, 17, Sirach 15, 51 and verses 17. I made progress therein. To him who gives wisdom, I will give glory. Praise the higher. 18, for I resolved to live according to wisdom and I was zealous for the good. See? And I shall never be put to shame. So if you sow and you work in your youth and you apply wisdom and you seek after instruction, you're going to become wiser. And if you stay in the fear, remember there's nothing greater than the one who fears the most high. Keep that first and foremost. So it says, and I was zealous for the good, and I shall never be put to shame. Verse 19, my soul grappled with wisdom. So sometimes, like I said, I was explaining that sometimes you're, you're trying to figure out the way things work. Like myself, I was up last night, and I can show you some things, brothers and sisters. I don't know, but I don't think I would have time in this small setting. But, you know, running uh, 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 what you call a music company, I have the knowledge and the experience on how to produce music, um, all praise be to the Most High, uh, how to actually uh, market it, uh, to promote it, um, to produce it, right? And, you know, it is, it is amazing, dear family, that how, uh, what the, it, doing the artwork, and just really putting it all together is what you call like an A and R. Um, the Most High has has graced me uh, with the ability to do that, and so these are services that I'm going to actually offer to to, to our brothers and sisters in the Israelite community, and also to those outside of the community, as long as. Uh, whatever that you know that they're trying to obtain from me is not being used uh to do negative you know negative things and and to promote evil okay because i can't i can't you know i can't have any parts in that okay so if i know in something if i you know some let's say someone wanted to do some have some production for me or have me to you know put together a, a album cover and a layout and design for them and if it has something to do with wickedness and evil i i can't be a part of that all money's not good money, okay? The same thing with my productions and so forth. The same, same thing with me uh, if, if I was to uh, collaborate with someone. I wouldn't go out and, 
uh, be singing worldly music and singing with worldly people. I could, just couldn't do it. So with this wisdom and knowledge that, that I begin to, now in, in my age of maturity, having the experience how to deal and to, uh, <clears throat> you know, in, in different, what you would call, not just genres, but expertise in certain fields, that goes a long way. The same thing, I have a background in, in automotives as far as sales and how to fix cars and how to sell cars and how to buy cars and these types of things, okay? So that's a wonderful thing that when you begin to have wisdom and the most high, a lavish wisdom upon you, and we know that, you know, we have to give glory to the Almighty who gives gives wisdom, okay? So it said in 19, my soul grappled with wisdom and in my conduct, I was strict. See, I was strict. That's why it didn't allow me to go to sleep last night. I had deadlines. I got things, uh, 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 radio releases or song releases, album releases. And over the years, that it, it's a lot of stuff that, that I'm doing that I'm trying to put forth, dear family, in this time that the Most High has given to me to help, to help, uh, to be a blessing in Israel, and and to and to and to and, and to shine the light, so that way that people might behold um, the my good works and praise the Father for it, okay, and, and and that He might be glorified through these good works. So it says here, um, and in my conduct I was strict. I spread out my hands to the heavens, and I lament. Lamented my ignorance of her, like how much that we don't know about Rawat Kodash, about wisdom, the spirit of wisdom. I directed my soul to her, and through purification, I found her. So, cannot have an ulterior, an ulterior motive or a hidden agenda trying to come to the Most High and ask Him to give us wisdom uh, and to pour the Holy Spirit upon us for me to go do something that has a, you know, have an evil desire or something, you know, something sinister. <clears throat> it's not, that it just don't work, right? So it says, I gained understanding with her from the first. Therefore, I will not be forsaken. 21, my heart was stirred to seek her. Therefore, I have gained a good possession. Glory. 22, the Most High gave me a tongue as my reward. And I will praise him with it. Yes. Draw near to me, you who are untaught. So if you don't have the wisdom and the skill in these certain areas, it it would be a blessing for you to really take heed and apply some of these things that is being organically shared and shown with you through love, dear family, so that you can apply it. Because I, I sit back and I think like, man, the Most High has allowed me to do, I believe I accomplished a lot in my life in a short time. And there's so much more that I, that I feel that I, that I, that I, that I want to and that, that the Most High has purposed me to do. And in time, I believe that I, that I will, I'm trusting in the Most High that I will do that. So this is a journey. Come along on this journey. I'm, word to the wise, I, I, are you listening? I hope that you hear what your Akka is saying. So, it says here, Draw near to me, you who are untaught and lodge in my school. So I want brothers and sisters to really pay the time to pay close attention and be praying, because we have to do everything through prayer, be praying for word to the wise, be praying for the set-apart ministry, the Holy Roman ministry. Be praying for the stewards that the Most High have placed in your mind. Pray that the Most High gives me strength, a soundness of mind, uh, a faithful character, and the ability to stand in the face of adversity and opposition and to be, to be humbled and not be lifted up as the Most High begins to exalt because the greater one is, the, one, the more lower, more humble one has to become because all the praise and glory goes to the Most High. And being a man or being a, a human, right, a person, um, it is really easy 
if one is not steadfast in the fear of the Most High, to be lifted up and turned out of the way and lured away. And I'm no different than any other man uh, or woman or any person who has lived in this flesh. Okay, have emotions and those emotions need to be put in intact. And I intend to do that with the help of the Most High and uh, through my due diligence and His permission and uh, with the help and the prayers of the saints standing in the gap for me. Okay, and I pray the same thing for you. So it says, 24, why do you say you are lacking in these things? And why are your souls very thirsty? I opened my mouth and said, get these things for yourselves without money. So if I could show you, dear family, some of the things that the Most High has allowed me to do. I'm sitting back and I'm looking at, for example, the Elect album. An example was that I paid a, a, a designer, a graphic designer, I paid him literally $800 or sometimes $1,000 for, for one layout. One layout, that means for the artwork, come take my photos for me, um, lay the artwork out as far as uh, putting the, the artwork for the disc or the CD, for the flyers and posters, um, you know. I, that's just on the graphic part. Then on the other side of... Uh, Producers, you would have to pay producers, you know, uh, you know, anywhere from a, a cheap beat would be fifty dollars, and you'd be like, that ain't that really nothing. But if someone that really is a step, excuse me, is established, and they know what they're doing, uh, it's not unusual to pay three hundred dollars on average for one beat, okay? And then you have engineering and mixing, and then having to. Uh, put the time in and I thought to myself what I've done for this elect project okay I would have loved to have someone like me like a team I want to build up team I would have loved to have several people all pushing behind the way that I'm pushing her because I believe you got to have a vision you got to believe in yourself when no one else would believe in you no one would put up the money to uh uh, you know what I'm saying? Help you in your endeavor. Okay? You got to believe in yourself when no one else will. But all through the Most High, and if it's for His glory, you'll see He'll lift you up. And I'm 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 speaking of music, but that's just one of the, the ventures that I have. Right? So we have to, as the scripture told us in Ecclesiastes eleven and seven, we have to cast or in verses one to cast our bread upon the waters. And so in many places, while you're young, who knows if from one of those avenues, you know, what type of reward that you re uh, that you would reap. But if you do nothing, one thing's for certain, you can certainly expect nothing. So now is the time to get up and do something and, and labor in the Most High's vineyard. 23, uh, 22. Oh, I read 22, excuse me. Where am I at? Uh, uh, that 25, I highlighted that. So uh, 25 says, I opened my mouth and said, get these things for yourselves without money. Put your neck under the yoke and let your souls receive instruction. It is to be found close by. 27, see with your eyes that I have labored little and found myself much rest. See? So, what causes you to rest? Is, do you get to have a gazillion billion dollars to rest? Or do you rest because the labor that you do, that you know that it is ordained by the Most High, that you're doing a good service, okay, providing a good product, and that you're dealing honest with your fellow man, and you're giving unto the Most High. So it causes you to really, uh, really be, uh, uh, be confident and still in the most high. 28. Get instruction with a large sum of silver and you will gain by it much gold. See? 29. May your soul rejoice in his mercy and may you not be put to shame when you praise him. 30. Do your work before the appointed time and in the most high's time he will give you your reward. 
So this speaks volumes to me, dear family, and I'm sure it speaks volume to, to you all out there, too, that, you know, there's many scriptures that come to mind. Hard labor was given to all the sons of Adam, and we're not to abhor it, okay? Nothing uh, easy, okay? Nothing that comes easy is worthwhile, okay? So that means that if it comes too easy, obviously there's some type of, uh, there's some type of snare that would come with it. So be very, uh, very cautious, okay, uh, of something like that. Um, getting on point, I'm going to read here in Psalms 90. Get here. About to close right now. Man, that went so quick. Words of the wise, huh? Let me close this out here quick. I had to elaborate. I thought I was sharing the screen with you, and it looks like I didn't even share that with you. So let me share Psalms, Psalms 90 here. Verses 10 through 17. Then we wish you a higher speed. It says, The days of your years are threescore years and ten, seventy years. And if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is it their strength, yet is their strength labor and sorrow. For it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knoweth the power of thine anger? Even according to thy fear, so is thy wrath. 12. So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. 13. Return, O Most High, how long, and let it repent thee concerning thy servants. 14. O satisfy us early with thy mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Verse 15, make us glad according to the days wherein thou has afflicted us. In the years wherein we have seen evil, let thy work appear unto thy servants and thy glory unto their children. 17, and let the beauty of the Most High our power be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us, yea, the work of our hands establish thou it. With that, dear family, I'm going to wish you all a high speed. Mm -hmm. Continue to go with the Most High. May the Most High prosper you. And may He be your shield and buckler, your exceeding great reward. Remember, with the wisdom that the Most High has bestowed upon you, it is very imperative that we give praise to the Most High for uh, giving us the experience or knowing what to do with the, uh, with, with, with the facts and as well as, uh, uh, you know, uh, understanding, okay, so that we may, may, we may apply ourselves to wisdom to use it to continue to strengthen ourselves and be a blessing to one another. With that being said, dear family, I'm going to say Shalom. This was another wonderful uh, word to the wise. May the most high blessing keep you. May he prosper you. And may he delight himself in you as he sees you delighting in the things that he chooses. I will bless and protect you. Shalom. Salah. Armor up.